Hello everybody and we're back on Lakerland Here to talk all Lakers news, Laker game, recaps Whatever happens in the Laker universe coming out of my Laker lips Uh, Wow, am I glad that I record these videos a day after Because I'm on the East Coast and the games don't happen at 7pm for me They happen at 10 o'clock But um, boy, we have something to talk about because the Lakers yesterday got blown out by the Orlando Magic. If you ask me what the score was, I couldn't tell you. I could just tell you we got blown out by almost 33 points or around that margin. And that simply, this might have been my least favorite game ever to watch. At least in the Raptors game, we were holding on to some hope. Lonzo held a little comeback. This game, we didn't have that hope because Lonzo got a little hurt, sprained his ankle. Uh, he got tripped up by some Nuggets player, can't remember who. And he sprained his ankle, came back later on, but then was, we were already losing by 20, I guess, play it safe from there on out, right? But, um, frustrating loss. We played like we had no energy in the building. The only people that had energy, names Ryan Wilt, Bio, Boozma, and Clonzo Call. Yeah, Lonzo Ball, Kyle Kuzma, they did great yesterday. And everybody else kind of just sucked, including you, LeBron. So, it was very disappointing. Um, this video, I'm just going to talk about how Lakers have a big issue. And obviously, it's the beginning of the season. But how long are we going to say, oh, it's still the beginning of the season? It's still the first week. Oh, it's only two weeks in. It's only the first 10 games. No, we're, we're, we're a quarter way through the season now. And we have a problem. And that problem is deeper than our defense isn't working or we're inconsistent or the, you know, the kids are inconsistent. They're kids. They're going to be inconsistent. They're a little older than me. Our problem is that Lakers lack something. Yes, we do lack shooting. Yes, we do lack a little bit of perimeter defense, but we lack something more than that. We lack identity. We don't know who we want to be. That, that is the problem. Earlier, and I'm going to keep stretching this out because earlier this year, when we got LeBron, when we made these signings, what what did Magic Johnson say? You're not going to outshoot the Warriors. You're not going to outscore the Warriors. But we're going to prove it with our defense. Our defense? What defense? And, and I was one of the people that thought our defense was going to be great. I was like, yo, what is Skip Bayless talking about? We weren't great in defense last year. We were top 15. What is uh, so-and-so talking about that Rondo's a wash defender and Lance Stevenson isn't top so in PR and player blah, blah 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 I was like come on man Lonzo Ball was great last year Ingram could hold his own Kyle Kuzma said he's gonna improve Josh Hart was a beast he was a dog Rondo was Rondo you know he could give you that spurt in the 20 minutes he's there it's Lane Stevenson he, another dog KCP was a great defender on paper uh, JaVale McGee is a rim protect I was like what are you guys talking about are you guys stupid but uh, maybe I was just a fan because I stand corrected. We can't play defense. We lack that identity. Fast forward to a few months later and they're going to say, oh, Showtime is back. We're going to have such a quick pace. That first game with the Trailblazers, I was like, i never seen a team move this fast in my life. Ever since, no ball movement. Nobody's, uh, it looks like no plays are being called. Nothing. And it's easy to put the blame on Luke. So I will. At least for some of it. Because Luke Walton has gave shitty rotations. He has done terrible play calling down the stretch in the fourth quarter. Two minutes with the LeBron with the ball in his hands. Um... He has done questionable decisions, whether it be, you know, who's starting or who's finishing the fourth quarter. Can easily take the blame. But remember last year, Luke Walton did start to heat up and make the right decision down the stretch. Last year. And if you go back to the 
I don't know if I said we lost to the Magic or Nuggets, who we got blown out by. We got blown out by the Nuggets, but we also lost to the Magic. Wasn't that pretty. But if you go to that game, and if KCP would have made that three in the last quarter, we wouldn't have called Luke. We wouldn't said we wouldn't have been saying Luke Walton. Why wasn't Lonzo Ball playing in the fourth quarter? We would have said, Wow, Luke, you started KCP in the fourth quarter, and he won us the game. You're a genius. But KCP didn't win us the game. He made a few winning plays at the end, but he didn't win us the game. So, it's easy to put the blame on Luke. And I couldn't. LeBron been playing. He started off season a little rough, but now he's picking it up. So, take the blame off, off, Lons, off, off LeBron. The kids, man. The kids got to get it together. All of them. Ingram. Uh, you got to find how to play with LeBron. Because if you don't know how to play with LeBron, I love you. Like, I, I love I love the potential you have. You're 21, and you can be an all-star in this game. But if you don't learn how to play with LeBron, I'm going to be honest. I don't want you on the team. As much as I hate to say it. Because I feel like if we didn't have LeBron, you would easily be the best player on the team. But since LeBron's on the team, I don't think you're the second best. I might not say you're the third best. And it's just because you're very ball dependent. And I, I, I didn't really notice that before. But it's gonna it's getting exposed right now. So e- you have to either adapt or die. Die as in you're going to be trade bait. Anthony Davis, is, is there's rumors. Bradley Beal, the, Beal, there's rumors. So you need to just find that adjustment. And I know LeBron loves you. He posts things about you and the... The sky's the limit for you, but the sky might be falling down very, very quick. Now, other rookies. Josh Hart, you don't gotta prove anything, bro. You're you're a second you were late first round. Same with Kyle Kuzma and everything you guys gave us is amazing. Lonzo Ball, of course, you have a lot to prove, but LeBron pointed out a good point not too long ago and he said, Has the kid even played a full eighty two games yet? So I I trust that you're going to get better. I'm glad that you're being more aggressive. And, yeah, I'm, I, I, right now, currently, I got no major complaints with you. It's just, God damn, can you finish a layup and can you make a jump shot? But thank you for being one of the only people to show energy on the defensive end. I appreciate that. Kyle Kuzma, you showed a lot of energy on the defensive end yesterday. I appreciate you. Everybody else, screw you. Now, hot take alert real quick, and I'm going to end this vlog off right here. Lakers might have been a better team. Team, 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 team. Keep that, keep that word in mind, team. We Obviously, we have LeBron now. But as a team, we might have been better last year. Tell me what you think about that in the comments down below. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you agree. Let me know if you disagree. I understand we have LeBron better now. So he he, he wins us games. He's the greatest player in the world. But as a team, we were better last year. Everybody played better last year. As a team. Let me know what you think about that, guys. Thank you for visiting Lakerland. Now get the hell out of my car.